you, you love dice. Do you have a beautiful game room? But maybe you don't always have people to play. beautiful dice tower or maybe you just need an excuse to buy one. Here's a simple dice game called Throwdown 7 that you can play alone or with friends. It's from designer C. Richard Patton and Chipster's Own Games with cover art by Daniel Walthall. It's a handcrafted box. Let's take a look at that. And there you can see the tower and one of the creatures throwing another one out the window and, and one of the other of the seven creatures already landed on the flagstones. What's in the box for Throwdown 7? All right, here it is. Uh, the top is conveniently labeled open this end. We'll do that. They got the insides. So a dice cup for rolling. The dice inside. Here's seven polyhedral dice. And we've got some paperwork also in the, in the bag. A rules booklet. Uh, here's a seven-page story, Sir Hevdebane's tale, uh, about how uh, a knight in the Middle Ages, or fantasy, causes the seven evil creatures to throw each other out of the tower. Uh, one more sheet is an example page. It's got uh, a full round played through, roll one, roll two, roll three. So you can see, and a little extra information on the back, uh, where to get the game, which is uh, Chipster's Own Games on Etsy. And that's what's in the box. What you do is you start with those seven dice, roll, set one of them aside until you've got none left, or you get stuck, and calculate the score. In a little more detail, here's a quick look at the rules. Low score is what you're going for. Uh, roll the dice, choose one qualifying dice to set aside or throw down. Um, and to qualify, this is the one subtlety, uh, the total of all dice rolled must be greater than or equal to the highest face on the die that you'd like to throw down. Um, not necessarily the up face, but the highest side. After you set one aside, roll the remaining dice, choose again until there's either none left or you're stuck, um, and then calculate the score, uh, which is just adding up the dice that you threw down and taking the penalty of the rolled value plus the highest face of any dice that you get stuck on. If you throw them all down, you get a 10 point bonus, um, and if you get stuck with a zero, that's uh, sort of an extra penalty because you, you count that instead of zero you count it as 10 or on the double zero as 100. All right. Uh, Hebdomad, so that's an odd word, means a group of seven, often seven superhuman beings or other creatures. And here's how it ties in to throw down seven the game. The big dice, the, uh, the d10 with the 90 on it, that's your necromancer, big bad guy. Uh, down from there to the ogre on the d20 and a troll, um, sorcerer, or goblin, and imp. Let's take another quick look at that rule book for Throwdown 7. There's the, the front again. On the inside, there's some more details uh, 
about how to play. It says solitaire, but if you're playing with more than one, you can just go back and forth, round over round. The uh, key sentence here is a die qualifies for throwdown if its highest face is less than or equal to the sum of all dice rolled. And we'll go through a couple of examples. Here's an example laid out on the page um, and on the back is uh, some variants. You can play a couple different ways on your own and a couple different ways uh, a multiplayer. Okay, so here's an example where I've thrown down the five up against the in the back row there and on my sixth roll I've got the the imp and the troll and I roll a two and a one on those. I need at least four points to even throw the imp down. I need 12 to throw the troll down but I've only got three total, so I'm stuck at this point. I'm not going to get to go on to my seventh roll. Uh, I just, at this point, add up the score. Uh, in, the, in the back, it's 70, 77, 87. But, and then the three points they're showing here is 90, but then I also get the penalty points of four plus 12 is another 16 points in penalty. So the 90 plus the 16, 106. Not a bad score, but I did get the double penalty. Let's take a look at the yellow dice example over here. In this case, um, I was able to throw down six dice to get started, uh, but I was still holding on to that necromancer, and I rolled it, and I got the double zero. So in this case, you don't get zero as the face value there. You actually have to take 100. It's similar for the sorcerer. If it had been stuck on zero, you'll get 10 instead of the zero on it. But let's go ahead and, and see how that works. Uh, so, so I'd get the 100 plus the 90 penalty because uh, I failed to throw him down and his high side is 90. So I get 90 penalty plus the 100. That's 190. Here's 10 more. Uh, that's 200, 210, 214. Again, you, you're trying for something 100 or a little less um, in that neighborhood. 214 is not a good score, but we'll go on from here and look at a full round. All right, let's play around and throw down seven. Here we go. We started with a zero on the Necromancer. I'm not going to be able to throw him down. I need 90 points total. Let's see what we've got. There's 10. Uh, we've got at least 20 more. 10, 19, 20, 23. So I can go ahead and throw down the ogre at one point. So that's that's a good start. So he's only going to cost me one point in the end. Now here's I can use the necromancer's points against himself, all 90 of them in fact. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's a, it's a lot of points, but it's also a problem spot that I don't have anymore. Roll the rest of the dice. Now my biggest dice that I've got left is a 12. I need 12 to throw it down. I need 9 to throw down the sorcerer. So this is the troll. Um, yeah, let's. We've got uh, at least 12 points there because the 7 and 5 is 12 in itself. Let's go ahead and do that. I like to work my way down from biggest to smallest if I can, if it makes sense. Uh, and in this case, I'm not going to quite do that. There's 11 uh, and 5, 16 points total. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take the D8 at two points this time because it's just that much lower than the six. And now the sorcerer is on nine this time. Again, not great to take him. But the goblin's only got one point showing. I'll take it because I only need six to throw it down. So I've got a two and a two. I need nine to throw the sorcerer down, but I can throw the imp down because he's only four points on his highest side. Now I'm looking to get that nine here, and I did. Woo! That's a one shot in ten, but we did it so I can actually throw him down. I threw down all the dice. I'll get a ten-point bonus for that. We need to remember to give us. So here's 90. Um plus 9 plus 1 is 100, 105, 107, 109, 110, then I get the 10 point bonus, so that drops me back to 100, 
And anything 100 or less is a good score at throwdown seven.